I think a lot of us forget that Sebastian Stan is one of those actors that just disappears into almost every single role. I know when I see him, I'm like, oh, that's Bucky, or, you know, to most people, the Winter Soldier from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then I see him in movies like this, and I'm like, holy shit, he can transform. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new A24 movie review. Today, we're going to be reviewing A Different Man. This is about a guy who, after undergoing facial reconstruction surgery, Edward becomes fixated on an actor in a stage production based on his former life. Now, this is directed and written by Aaron Schimberg, and it stars the likes of Sebastian Stan, Renata Renav, and, of course, Adam Pearson. Now, when this movie, I think, premiered back at Sundance for one of the earlier film festivals, I became fixated on wanting to see this and more likely because of like the high praise from the performances of Sebastian Stan and Adam Pearson. And this film does not disappoint when it comes down to the performances. I don't even think this film disappoints on the meta-ness and the commentary that it has. It's such a multi-layered dark comedy that I don't think we get enough of nowadays, but I'm very excited to talk about this film today. And I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you excited for this movie? Are you not? Let me know down below. Of course, this is an A24 movie. So it's one of those more unique films. Some all Always interested in hearing your guys' thoughts. Again, hit that like subscribe button for more movie reviews on a daily basis, and let's get it right into this. So, starting with my pros, let's touch on that one aspect that I talked about, which were the performances. Sebastian Stan, I just love this guy. Like, he is, again, one of those actors that when he pops up outside the MCU, he always does kind of steal the show. In so many different ways, even if he is the lead performer, the guy always comes away as like, damn, he's fabulous. And for me, I was kind of playing around in my head with what is my favorite performance of him? Is it from Pam and Tommy? Is it, of course, from uh, if you want to go into the MCU or even more specifically, I, Tanya, which I was a major fan of him in. But I think a different man showcases him in such a unique and brilliant light that the multi-layered story that they have here for this character of Edward is meta at times, brilliant. And all the way through, fascinating. And I think like what this movie intrigued me with the most was its fascinating character study on one guy. And I really am excited to talk a little bit more about that when we talk about the writing and the directing. But Stan just does a fantastic job bringing this character to life. And primarily like when the film starts out, and you see him for the first time, and the prosthetics and makeup are also fabulous. I just have to mention that. But he camouflages into this. That when he does go through this transformation of the surgery, it is kind of eye-opening. And to see where his life kind of now changes. And what I really like, and I'm, I'm really trying not to dive into the writing, but Stan does such a great job with that shift. But always being able to see that original guy in him. And that's where it also goes to Renata Renav's performance. Which, I might be mispronouncing that. I love her as an actress. I apologize. But... What I love about her in this is she knew him prior and she knew him after. Two different people because when he switches, he pretends to be someone else. He's trying to go away from that original person that he was. And I like seeing how the second he sees her again, he starts to act like his original self. And even though he looks different, he goes back to that. And then starts to kind of shift and change and he's living these two different worlds and again, fascinating on that and specifically to see how other th people treat him in both different territories but then we get to adam pearson in this who might honestly steal the entire show in this film like genuinely adam pearson might steal the entire show from this film and he plays oswald now adam does have this disorder in real life and he plays and brings this disorder into this film and again wonderfully thought out i liked how they handled it all but Pearson's personality, his charisma, just imbued and embodied into this character of Oswald. And I'm seeing lots of interviews with him, and it seems like this is very much him. But the way, again, that he comes into here, and you have Stan who plays this character that, again, is in a different situation and was treated so miskindly and looked and frowned upon. But then you have Oswald, who comes in, looks the same, but acts completely different, and is garnering all this love and no hate, and he starts to fixate on that. 
And that's where we go to the writing directing from Aaron Schimberg, who I think did such a fantastic job bringing this idea to life. And a lot of things that kind of like perplexed to this, which is a lot of like the technical achievements. I really liked how the film looked. I like how old school the film always felt. And I also really liked that it feels like in a way it's a docu-series, but it's not. Like I, I don't know what it is about it, but it just felt like I was always a fly on the wall in what was going on in this one man's life. And from any look to any feeling, I could always feel what he was feeling. And I think that's a really unique approach to be able to feel, even if it's just from looking at one person's emotion instead of them imbuing out what they are feeling, whether it's jealousy, whether it's hatred, whether it's love. There's so many different things you can feel. And that also ties back to Sebastian Stan's performance, but so many other things in there. The film cleverly deconstructs a play within a film and very much has this multi-layered thematical avenue. It's able to dive in to what our main character is feeling and what he felt prior. And I think for me, like I wasn't expecting, you know, when you watch the trailer, you feel like he's probably gonna get the surgery pretty early on, but they do take their time showing how he's feeling, going through it. And I think it's about 45 minutes and throughout the entire film where he's showing this fascinating exploration of humanity. In the way that he shows like a lifetime of what one person will feel, even if it's only in a short amount of days that we follow the character up until his transformation, but we're able to see beauty, ugliness, traction of what makes someone attractive to someone. And that can be from our personality, that can be from actual looks. And again, all this is really conserved and talked about within this movie. But that first 40 minutes was so integral to living in one person's shoes that it was always fascinating for me to get that look. And then when he gets the facial reconstruction, the way that it shifts and changes, and for the most part, he starts to act a little bit more open, but he sees that maybe his life this isn't everything that he wanted it to be. And even though when he gets and gets the things that he wants, it doesn't make him feel completely whole. He looks at Adam Pearson as he looks at Adam Pearson's character, Oswald, and goes, but that's what I want. But it was it. Like there, there's all these fascinating questions that a different man asks. And I think the writing and directing is what really brings that to life alongside the performances. It really makes this multi-layered story fascinating and intriguing. And you're always intrigued to see what twist or turn might happen next and what character study might happen. And to have this parallel of two different people who have gone through the same part of their lives in some way, shape, and form and dealt with the same issues but come out on completely different opposite ends and one still not have everything they want even after changing their appearance. That is fascinating to me and I can't recommend a different man enough for that. But I do wanna say one thing. I found one issue with this movie and it comes nothing from the performances, it comes nothing from the directing, it comes a tad bit from the ending of the movie, which I found that the last 10 to 15 minutes feels a tad bit rushed. I feel that, you know, the film's already almost two hours long, but I do feel that maybe 10 to 15 more minutes of it. Just showcasing the back half of one person's character arc could really go the long ways. They spent so much time developing it in the start, in the middle, and then as we get to the ending, it just kind of felt a, a little rushed, in my opinion. And specifically, even the final shot, I was kind of like, okay. Like, I, I like this idea but I would have liked it to go a little bit further into a different area. And truly enough, it's not even that like I was disappointed in like what occurred. It just all felt a little rushed, but that's about it. A Different Man is a must watch in theaters, specifically for people to understand a different type of person and to understand what someone might go through. And I think this is a fantastic and fascinating and intriguing watch to specifically see two different parallels and I think it even makes us look and appreciate life into certain ways and maybe how some of us figuratively wear masks. The meta-ness of this entire film is what makes this film so tonally rich and it all ties back to the fantastic directing, Sebastian Sands' incredible performance, Renetta's incredible performance, and specifically Adam Pearson, who nearly steals the show. So with all that said, I'm gonna give a different man a B plus. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and of course, until next time, stay classy.